like that egg? The, down from the mommy. You found it down there? Yeah, down the Down the driveway? Yeah, down the Cool. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we have a project that I am super excited about. So um, as you might know, we have been lambing recently. We've got our ewes in the barn right now with their lambs and we have run into a problem with one of our rams. He is a ladies man and he is missing his girls. Yep. So he has been jumping his electric netting, fencing I guess I should say, um, in search of them. And by not finding them, he is going after our dairy goats. So it is a problem and we need to solve the issue. So. Yep. Um, rewind a little bit to how we run our animals. We have a good bit of pasture here and so we like to practice an intensive grazing for our animals, moving them from spot to spot rather than keeping them in one fixed pen. Um, it really helps to cut down on any, site, any sort of parasite issues and it's also really good for, uh, for the pasture. It allows the pasture to have a break from the animals and to regrow. It also forces our animals to eat all the different types of pasture grass we have rather than constantly returning to their favorite spot and just mm -hmm. burning it out. Yep. Um, and also in allowing that spot to rest, we are breaking the egg cycle or life cycle of the parasites. Um, so once, you know, once the animals return to that spot, those set of eggs that have been left behind have died off and therefore we don't have a major parasite problem yeah. on this property. So yeah, this is all Erin's idea because she looks at the uh, chicken tractors we have. So we said, hey, let's build this thing. So mm -hmm. we looked at it a little bit and uh, I guess we got some gates. We're going to pretty much uh, do a prototype and hopefully it works out. Yeah. Right? It, might, it might end up needing some tweaking since this is our first time building something like this, but we want it to be mobile, to be on wheels so that we can push it. It's too high for the sheep to hop over it, so it's mm -hmm. going to be great for you know our ram who is just hell-bent on, on escaping. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. And I think there's one flaw, though. That's, I mean, there's going to be a gap on the bottom. I don't know if it's big enough. If you lock yourself in there... I don't think you'll be able to crawl underneath them because they're humping your back. Yeah. Hopefully nobody comes over here and sees your beard and thinks one of the sheep got out and tried to stick you in there. You know? With all those little Debbie cakes, you're definitely not going to be able to get out. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Grab me that wheel real quick, bud. The back wheels are going to be fixed. The ones in the front, they're going to be uh, able to pivot and move around. So we can grab it and pull Don't it around and come up or move it. That's him right there, boy. Yeah. Grab the other set, actually. The, uh, the, the bright blue set. There you go. We're going to solve these things down, dude. I definitely do. What's this for? Walmart. Walmart. It's from Walmart. <laughs>
All right, so the wheels we installed was a complete and utter bust. Didn't work out. Um, put a little weight on them just to start bowing and bending. It's a complete cattywampus, bunch of garbage. So we decided to uh, take it off, drop back, look at it, and reassess the entire situation. So now we're going to go ahead and we're building the brace out of uh, Unistrut. So this should work out fine. We'll see if it works. Like I said, it's prototype. Um, we're going to be tweaking this thing throughout. So. with and we're going to change um, eventually at some point uh, we'll go into that in just a minute but first I wanted to tell you some of the specs of this so it's 16 by 16 you can see they've got um, a water in there I'll probably switch that out to some buckets eventually so that I can just come up and push it and I'm not lifting that out and taking it with me also um, it's got their minerals are hooked in there back on that piece of plywood they've got a hay feeder in there and a tarp for just shade temporarily since we're going from spring into summer shade is really all they require at this point mm -hmm. once winter rolls around we're going to modify it and make it so it's a full-on like three-sided shelter in there although you know they really don't they don't they don't use it they stay out in all types of weather really no matter how cold it is we've got ice coming down snow coming down they will not even bother going into their shelter but we'll put it in there just in case so for now they've got um everything that they need our, our sheep are completely uh, pasture fed we don't feed them any grain unless they are pregnant or nursing these guys are rams uh, during the winter months when our pasture is completely dead or like right now when it's not back to its full glory then we'll go ahead and put some uh, high quality hay in there for them that also comes from our pasture so yeah I mean they're they're set up they're pretty happy how often we move them is going to just depend on how quickly they mow down the pasture so it might be twice a day it might be once a day once we'll, our pasture we'll is, see. is high yeah. in the summer it might be less than that it's just something we kind of monitor and see what they need we'll work that out yeah um, the issues that we did have when we built it we put the wheels on we took that uh, unit strut and put it on the side of the uh, I guess the gates um, I put them onto that one it wasn't long enough because it still twist and turn a little bit so we actually extended those made them four, four foot long and now it's holding pretty well um, putting the gates together and bolting it, it's pretty stout, there's a holding strong too. Um, the, the 
thing I'm kind of worried about is maybe monitoring the wheels where the kickers come down, hold it, make it kind of twist a little bit here and there. But it's doing a good job right now. Um, we'll just have to see. Yeah. Um, time will tell. Yeah. So we'll be tweaking it here, here on out. So we'll probably be doing another video later on to show the results and how it held up. Yeah. We, so. we think we probably could have built it better if we had used, had welded. A lot of welder, so we, we had a welder, we could do all that, get metal, weld all, and be good. But that's something we need to add yeah. to the farm because that's just going to come in handy on all sorts of projects. And, yes, it will. Um, also, I wanted to mention how easy it is to move. I mean, it's awesome. You you saw Josh and I moving it together, but I can move it with little to no effort, which yeah. is what I need since I'm the one out here moving them uh, during the day. It had to be something that I was going to be able to do on my own. And I mean, it's just a breeze, so that's really nice. And the tires are kind of flat, too, so we haven't, haven't pumped them up. <laughs> yeah. We bought those, those little tires, so yeah. uh, it'll actually be easier when you start pushing it. I know. It's nice. Just so you know. I'm happy with it. I'm, I'm really excited about it. My escapee is finally stuck, so he's not going to be a hassle to me. He's not going to be a hassle to the goats. Um, our ewes are still in the barn with their lambs right now. Mm -hmm. When we take them out, they're going to go back into the movable electric fencing. They should be fine in there because they were previously however if that becomes an issue and this is really successful in the long run then we might build more of these so we'll this is actually see. easier to move than the electric netting it takes so much i mean yeah no I, electric either so right no no electric plus you know with the electric netting obviously you're taking it all down and then you've got to go and put it all back up this i just push yeah just push and it's done so that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for an update and yep. stick around because later this week we'll be putting out another house build video. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. See ya.